Over the years, I've passed by many a piece of orphan furniture on the curbside and felt that spark of inspiration, followed by the sting of having to leave it behind, knowing that it had potential. So, in this video, I'll be bringing you along on the journey of a piece that I was able to save from oblivion with a little bit of love, patience, and time. My name is Brent, and if you're new to this channel, I'm all about transforming thrifted or salvaged furniture and home decor. My partner and I were on our way home one afternoon after an event when my eyes locked on to a sad shell of a dresser sitting on the curbside. It had no drawers, but was a vintage piece, predominantly solid wood, in the French provincial style. After evicting a large spider that had taken up residence inside, we crammed the piece into the back of our car. What I envisioned for this piece was something with open shelving that could serve multiple functions. Something that could be used as a TV console, a dining room sideboard, entryway table, bookshelf, or even a space for neatly folded towels and linens. I started by removing the wooden rails as well as the wooden drawer slides, then gave the piece a good cleaning using some TSP spray. To remove the paint, I sanded everything down starting with 80 grit sandpaper, moving to 150 grit, then 220. I used a palm sander for the top and sides, and tackled the legs and finer details by hand. I cut some hardboard panels to line the inner surfaces, which I secured in place with wood glue and finishing nails. I cut two six-foot white wood panels into shelf pieces. The bottom pieces were secured using wood glue, and the top pieces I used a Craig jig to drill some inconspicuous pocket holes to secure these into place. I used finger-jointed pine molding to trim the rough edges, and added some quarter-round molding to the back corners to cover the cracks where the hardboard panels met, and some more finger-jointed pine molding to trim the top edges of the hardboard. To fill in any gaps and edges that weren't trimmed, I used some painter's caulk and wood filler and sanded these smooth once dried. Here's the piece before it was assembled. These are the hardboard panels here, and the whitewood panels here. And here the hardboard, shelves, and some trim were installed. I applied two coats of a product called Whitewash Pickling by Bear. Once this had dried, I then taped off all of the wooden whitewashed areas and used some plastic sheets to protect the shelves. I applied a white primer to the inner and outer hardboard panels. And once the primer was fully dried, I then applied three coats of paint to all the primed areas using a nylon paintbrush. I chose this warm neutral gray called Chateau by Fusion Mineral Paint. I lightly sanded the painted areas in between coats using 400 grit sandpaper to achieve a smooth finish and minimize any brush strokes. After applying two coats of top coat, I removed about 1,000 miles of painter's tape. Hashtag Vanessa Carlton. I had originally planned to keep the tabletop whitewashed wood, however there was some discoloration that I was unable to mask, so I ended up painting it as well. Sometimes in life you gotta pivot. Finally, I buffed this piece up using my favorite hemp-based furniture salve by Wise Owl. With the piece now complete, let's take a look at the final result. Baby, you give me ice and fire. Finished in a seamless combination of whitewashed wood and warm gray, it is modest but beautiful, unique, and multifunctional. From curbside to dining side, this repurposed French provincial dresser has been given a fresh new lease on life. Thank you so much for watching this video. This piece found its new home with a very happy client as it fits their space so perfectly in terms of form, function, and style. Taking on a new project without really knowing for certain if you'll be able to execute your vision can be intimidating, and challenges will absolutely present themselves. But if you dive into the project with an open mind and a fierce determination to overcome the challenges, 
you'll arrive on the other side with more skills, knowledge, and confidence than you had before. For more splendid flips and transformations, don't forget to subscribe.